I am Ben Istander. I've been running for 54 years and it started uh, many, many years ago when I was actually three years old. And at seven, I ran my first 800 meters uh, competitively. And from there on, it just kicked on forward. And uh, when I was 16 years already, I started coaching. And they're very surprised actually. And I think that's also, uh, that's contributed to the success of the shoe, that people trust uh, the brand this far, clothing wise and, and, and gear wise, and uh, they're eager, very eager to put it on. It's really, uh, it's hit the, the market by storm, I think. It's great to have something new, new, innovative uh, running shoes. Uh, and that's what the North Face has, has done in this case. There's nothing else in my knowledge available currently that can stick with that if, if we talk in running terms. They're setting the pace at this stage. Uh, and that, I think that's why it was so successful this far. The Vective Infinite uh, was a winner for people that want to run technical and also long distance. Also the fit of the shoe and the technical ability of the shoe. Um, since the Endurance came in, I think it became more even. Hi, my name is Jurat van Jebden. I'm a professional trail runner for the North Face South Africa. I've been involved with the North Face now for the past six years. I signed with them in 2016. I would definitely recommend it to anyone. I've said it before to a lot of friends of mine and I would um, recommend anyone to try these shoes out and see for themselves. I also had quite a few mates that I that I saw the shoes already too, and they were all very happy about the feedback were fantastic. The Infinite is, I would say, a slightly more technical shoe from my running experience in it. It's a slightly harder shoe. You would run a little bit faster in the shoe, more a racy almost feeling. You want to really go at it when you, when you put the shoe on. And the Endurance, uh, if I have to listen to what the feedback is from other people that fit it, they they say it's very very comfortable so there's there's more cushion a cushioned feeling and a softer feeling in your endurance and you would probably feel that you could run an extra few kilometers on it the infinite has got first of all a kevlar upper which is similar to your um, uh, parachute material that dries very quickly uh, in wet conditions but it is still breathable and very light and also then your, your vector plate or your cradle, I, I rather would call it a cradle that the foot sits in, that supports the midfoot uh, and into the forefoot that also rocks the foot forward and uh, contribute to a, a, a faster transition through the foot cycle. The Endurers, the Endurers has got the same technology, but the upper is different with a, a thicker uh, heel cup. It probably would take more water when you run in wetter conditions, whereas the infinite uh, sucks up less water and it dries quicker and that's, that that is uh, some of the contributing factors to making it a more technical trail shoe and this one more for your groomed kind of trails with the support of the north face i've been running in the north face vective infinite range for the past 18 months or so and haven't lost the race since started racing in in those shoes i think it just suits my style of running i like a lot of runnable non-technical stuff and i think um, what my, makes the infinite so so approachable to me is that it's got a rocket midsole so it pushes you onto your front foot so much quicker and it's almost as if you can go run through your gait a bit quicker than, than normal shoes. I'm actually in, in serious training at the moment and I've got five weeks till, till race day. So doing a lot of training and doing a lot of mileage at the moment, as well as a lot of climbing, mostly using the, the Vective Infinite at the moment for some of the speedier workouts where I use the more cushioned Vective Endurance for the easier days where I want to save my legs and just have the bit of more cushioning in terms of my training. Uh, the Infinite again, uh, more technical. Um, Climbing, you, you can do a lot of good climbing with it. Uh, uh, difficult terrain, the uh, underfoot feels secure. You don't slip that much or even nothing. And your endurance, I would prefer it on a more groomed kind of trail and even a bit of road. The cushioning is, is great to run on that kind of surface. It's really unique. Uh, you get more out of the shoe, you feel good afterwards. Your feet and your legs doesn't feel tired. Uh, not that I'm saying other shoes is not good. I've run in other brands, which is actually quite, quite good over the years. But this is just 
something else, it's something different. In December 2021, I set a new FKT fastest known time on Mafari Peak, which is the highest peak in South Africa. And like all things in life, the weather threw us some curveballs and we had a lot of rain and treacherous weather when, as you can expect from the Drakensberg in, in the summer season. And I had to do numerous river crossings during that Mafadi attempt. What I liked about the shoes is that it drains very well. Um, the Matrix upper makes it so much easier for water just to come in and just go out. And I think that definitely helped me 